This video is sponsored by PCBWay. More about them later. Designing this external gear pump took a bit time to make this work. Here are almost all my attempts. Thankfully building isn't so difficult. If you wanna build this by your own, 3D printing files are free at the down below. All bars that you need is in front of you. Let's start with installing those brass hose nozzles. Those straight sides have to be half an inch. You should find those in every hardware store. Screwing those in will be a bit hard, so I recommend to using wise. And dealing with the leaking, I use o-rings. When this is done for both sides, it's time to connect a 775 DC motor to the body. Actually, I am using again the same one that I have abused over and over again in this channel. I do it because the motor has this cut on the shaft and I'm too lazy to do this to another motor. But the motor will not be connected straight to the gear pump. First it will be attached to the motor mount and then motor mount to the pump body. This is because I didn't have enough room for M4 bolts when I was designing this. By the way all bolts what I'm using in this project is M4. But now it's time for gears. We have to start with driver gear. We need to install one 20 times 2 mm o-ring at the bottom of the gear. A design here one got, it should sit in nicely. For another gear, it's important to push fit two bearings for both sides. I highly recommend to use grease for the top and bottom side of the gear. There can happen a lot of friction that will melt the plastic and the pump will fail. Ok, let's finish this now. The next step is to install gears, starting with driver gear. Because the fit have to be really tight, it took a bit force. Installing the other gear is way easier. Then finally, top lead. You can 3D print this, but I use acrylic one. Those parts are CNC'd, but I don't have CNC. I ordered those from PCBWay. Yes, PCBWay has now 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication and even injection molding service. They have a lot of options and it's so simple to use. For example, 3D printing. Just upload your 3D model, select the material and by the way you can choose even metal and you are done. If you need some part of something that is 3D printed or CNC'd or injection molded, it's not so practical to buy necessary equipment. Just use PCB Way service, it's so simple to use, affordable and fast. The parts that I ordered, absolutely perfect. I definitely use PCB Way service again and I hope you will do. But let's continue with the build. Now everything is done. Let's connect some wires and start with the first test. You see this debris here. This should be from the gears and it's not a big deal. But the problem is the gears rubbing against the top lead and it's not good. It's sad. I used some silicone oil and it made run a bit better. But still I see some melting damage happening here. But this didn't stop me taking this water pump outside and took the first water bucket on my way as the destiny set. So I give it a go. This is something that I didn't expect right now. It worked surprisingly well. I basically have now two excuses. This is my poor design or this pump cannot run dry. Obviously this pump cannot run dry. <laughs> but okay, let's move on. 
I did a lot of wiring what was completely waste of time because the speed controller that I planned to use didn't work. But anyway I plan to use this gear pump as a hydraulic pump. With motor oil. Yes motor oil is thick and it's not hydraulic fluid but I don't have anything else. My point is the pump will pump oil into the oil syringe what I'm using right now as a <laughs> hydraulic cylinder and when I reverse the direction pump pumps oil out. This is how I will get the linear movement. I know the hydraulic system does not work like this but I don't give a two shift flying f**k I do this anyway. And the first problem has arrived. Pump can it suck this thick motor oil. Then I did something that should not be in this video. I give this pump little help and then it worked, kinda. But two more problems has arrived. It's leaking but it's easy to fix and in the oil are lot of air bubbles. I believe the reason for that is air getting in the pump and inside there happens mad air oil mixture. But let's enjoy a couple of beautiful footage of this attempt and then I'm going to buy a new one because I ruined this with motor oil. As I said before, I will build a new one. So I 3D printed new gears with Halo 1, it's great racing printer, I just recently did a review of this printer, go check it out after this video. Then I built a new one but I didn't record it, well actually I did but I lost the footage. It was exactly the same as I did before anyway, with small changes. I now use a bit thicker O-rings. Inlet diameter is bigger than outlet. I use one small O-ring over here, it was leaking from here as we saw before. And I use a bit glue over here, for the leaking of course. Ok, let's go back outside and do some more testing. Right now the bump is sitting higher than water. I want to see will it start by itself. But it didn't. I set the bump a bit lower but still higher than the water. And sadly it still didn't work. But it was closer this time. So I give it a little help. It works really well with water. It's still leaking a bit but less than before, so progression have happened. Because this pump works so well with water, I want to do exactly the same thing, the hydraulic thing that I did uh, with oil. Everything is exactly the same like it was before but instead of oil there is water. Will this work this time? Let's give it a try. So far so good. And reverse.
I got the dupe because this didn't uh, fit on the frame, so this don't have any practical use right now. Obviously before the oil was too thick. And by the way, I know the water is not hydraulic fluid. But I believe with real hydraulic fluid, it would work. For example, car braking fluid. It's basically hydraulic fluid. And if you have ever had seen this, it's a bit thicker than water, but not even close to motor oil. So, yeah. I don't know what I want to say with this. Anyway, in the future, I'm not planning to use this pump as hydraulic pump. pump blah, blah, blah. Pump. If you remember last summer I made a pressure washer what didn't work at all. Part 2 is finally coming and yes I'm planning to use those gear pumps for that. Maybe 2, maybe 4, I don't know yet, we'll see soon. But for now this video is over, I hope you enjoyed, if you did and you haven't subscribed so maybe you wanna hit the subscribe button, maybe like, maybe leave a comment, it's really great help for me. And by the way, I have Patreon now, so like if you extremely like this video, so... <clears throat> Thank you for watching and see you guys really soon. Bye.